Public Safety and Emergency Management for Lee County, Florida. And it's great to have you here, sir. I want to let everyone know uh, that Lee actually resides in Tampa and has evacuated uh, to higher ground or at least outside of that zone in Florida, which of course is an experience that hundreds of thousands of people have had along the Gulf Coast of Florida, Lee. Is the state ready? They are good to be here. And, you know, we the good news on this storm is we've had a couple of days to prepare. You know, that goes towards evacuation planning and giving people time to make decisions uh, for their family, for their business. Uh, Florida is no stranger to these types of events, uh, but it's been a long time since this part of the state uh, faced a storm like this, faced a direct landfall uh, everywhere from the Tampa Bay area down south, uh, even towards Lee and Collier. So. Uh, a dangerous storm. The window is, is really closed at this point uh, to, to find that safe space if you're in that direct landfall area. Um, and it's going to, you know, over the next you know 12 or 24 hours, uh, we'll see those worst impacts uh, along the west coast of Florida and then, you know, farther inland and even on the east coast. Does it help, Lee, that FEMA was already there to deal with the first hurricane? The fact that even more officials, more uh, members of the agency have been surged into Florida and all of their equipment is already there? Or does that sure. complicate matters because they have to hunker down and move out of the way? Yeah, I think it's a positive. You know, it's been a busy, busy two weeks uh, in our business uh, from uh, Helene in Florida, Helene in North Carolina, uh, and now Milton, of course, uh, making those impacts in Florida. So. Uh, I think at all levels of government, you know, this is what we do in our business. Uh, we plan, train, exercise for these types of events. Uh, and even in those exercise scenarios, sometimes they talk about, you know, multiple storms uh, impacting the area. Uh, in 2004, 2005, Florida dealt with multiple hurricane landfalls in a very short time frame. Uh, so those are all scenarios that go into those uh, planning, training and exercise scenarios, which is a positive for this event. We've got 11 counties under mandatory evacuation here, Lee, and based on what we've experienced in the last 12 days since Hurricane Helene, uh, the coming week could be a real challenge. This is a storm that's making its way across uh, central Florida on its way to the East Coast and could remain at hurricane strength, we're told, for that entire period of time. After what you've seen with misinformation surrounding the cleanup, the recovery and response, to Hurricane Helene. How can Florida prevent that from happening again in the days ahead? Sure. You know, the message uh, in Florida, and I know uh, everywhere, is you know, find that trusted source of information. You know, we have uh, state and local and federal emergency managers, public information officers that uh, do their best to get out that, you know, pure source of information uh, from the decision makers. So, uh, incredibly important for the members of the public, our residents and visitors who are hunkering down now. Uh, you know, go to your county emergency management website, go to your state mm -hmm. emergency management uh, website, floridadisaster.org, uh, to get that trusted information uh, from the source. Uh, I know there's a lot of information out there. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity to, uh, you know, click on, uh, you know, various links to get information, but you just really have to make sure that information is trusted. Uh, uh, and, and it's yes. incredibly important, especially in the life safety time right now. Well, it is incredibly important here. We've had several lawmakers describe to us, Lee, the black swan scenario uh, that they had been presented with by emergency management officials in Florida. It would be a Cat 5 storm that slams directly into Tampa. I realize this may not be a Cat 5 when it lands. I realize that also may not matter. Lee, paint the picture for us of what a 15-foot storm surge would mean for the city of Tampa by the time we wake up tomorrow. Yeah, you know, uh, I think, like I said, uh, it's been a long time since this this area has has even been under threat of a direct landfall here. The west coast of Florida is incredibly shallow, and that just goes towards uh, a significant storm surge risk. Uh, we saw that in Hurricane Ian. We see that in the Big Bend uh, multiple times over the last few years. Uh, the Tampa Bay area, uh, no surprise, has a lot of infrastructure, uh, a lot of uh, residential structures and businesses right along the coast. So. Uh, absolutely a devastating possibility there for that area. Uh, but even if you go you know, farther south, Pinellas County, uh, uh, Sarasota, Manatee, Charlotte, and down the line. Uh, so absolutely a, a risk there. Uh, and that's what we're going to see, uh, I believe, over the next couple days. Uh, it, it, it's really unknown exactly who's going to get the worst of that surge, but uh, certainly a potential for, for devastating storm surge for, for some of these counties.
Lee, is Florida better equipped just by the nature of its geographic location and history with hurricanes and tropical storms than, say, North Carolina, which seemed to be caught off guard by Hurricane Helene? And Joe, there, there are professionals uh, across these different uh, organizations, uh, state emergency management, local emergency management, uh, you know, states in these in these hurricane prone areas, uh, uh, for better, for worse, have a lot of practice. You know, they uh, get tested uh, uh, over and over again, it seems like. And uh, as these storms threaten, uh, uh, they have the opportunity to respond some, sometimes more than other areas who see disasters on a less frequent basis. So. Uh, I, I have faith that these uh, professionals are going to do a good job and they know what they're doing and they're ready for what's to come. Well, we appreciate your time and expertise. As always, Lee Mayfield, Director of Response Programs at Haggerty Consulting, with a live view of Fort Myers and the approaching storm for our TV and YouTube viewers. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Coming up, we'll take a look.